welcome to my youtube channel welcome to another interesting episode today we'll be looking more on palm profile drawing and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and ring the bell to get notified when i post new videos draw the profile of a dick scam to give any form upward motion of 45 mm during the first half revolution and again uniform return motion during the next half of the revolution. The minimum distance from the center of the cam to the edge is 50 mm. The diameter of the shaft is 35 mm. The cam will allow the knife edge follower to reciprocate with uniform velocity. In the above question, we were given diameter to be okay, given diameter to be equal to 35 mm. That was the parameter given for diameter, okay? And then was we were also given the distance, distance between the center, the center of the calm, of the calm to the edge as 50 millimeter, okay? And then we were also given the lift, that's the follower, the length of the follower chosen as the lift. To be equals to 45 millimeter now if you read this question you see that this is a uniform motion so if you check the question you see that there was a uniform upward and uniform downward that means there was no, no dwell no constant velocity or something like that. so the graph should look something like up and down so first of all we will have to draw the displacement diagram or displacement of the graph before you can actually draw the cam profile now how do you draw the displacement graph okay in most cam profile diagram the total angle throughout the whole process should be equal to 360 degrees so even if you are drawing the displacement diagram it must be equal to 360 degrees so since we have uniform upward motion and from downward motion i mean the total length of it should be 360 degrees now watch so you, you draw a straight line okay so i haven't drawn the straight line now if you look at the equation the stand between the center of the cam to the edge is 50 okay so if the center from the center to the edge is 50 and it's, a, it's kind of a, like a circle okay that means from center to this part is also 50 then the total length will be 100 okay so we're going to measure length of 100 for, the, for this displacement diagram which is 10 cm or 100 millimeter the same thing now divide it into two which is 5, okay? Now, at 0.5, we're going to elongate the perpendicular line upward. And this line should be of length of the lift, which is 45. So we're doing 45 this way. Okay. Then we'll clean the extra. Right. We're going to divide this into 6 equal parts. And this into 6 equal parts. Also dividing this lift into 6 equal parts. Now we have 50 divided by 6. Okay, so I'm dividing this into 6 equal parts. Okay, put that here. See, you also do the same thing so for this other side. Okay, now for the for the displacements or for the lifts, so we are still doing the same thing. So we are dividing it into six equal parts. So we have four, five divided by six. Five divided by six. We have seven point five. Okay, so we set square image of zero point seven five to zero point seven. All right, unbite. One, two, three, four, five, six. Of graphical analysis, and you trace from one. One and one. The faint line. One and one meets here and here. Okay. Go again. Two 
carry two up, carry two up, and then you trace it. Two and two, that sets here, okay? So this for all of them, so it's six to one. So we then join. Right. This is what we also call displacement diagram. We haven't done the distribution diagram. We can then go ahead to draw the cam profile itself. That the diameter of the cam is equal to thirty-five millimeter. Okay. So for this. Since the diameter is 35, the radius will be 35 divided by 2, which will be about 17.5. This is 17.5. Okay, I'm bringing towards the center and then we'll draw. And then you mark the middle point. Okay, now, this time between the cam center and the edge is equal to 50 okay from the question now that means from the cam center to the edge is equal to 50 we will measure 50 okay have it done that all right and then we gave the lips to be 45 millimeter okay so with this we can then draw the cam profile all right so i'll draw a straight line a very straight line okay also draw a oh, perpendicular line all right so i'll draw okay now, having done this, now if you check, the question says that it was it's a uniform upward motion and uniform downward motion. There was no instance of dwell or rest or constant motion or anything. So since this, and look at our velocity and graph, it is just upward and downward, just upward and downward, and it's 360. That means this will be 180, 180. Okay, exactly. And this is what I want to do. We're going to divide this circle into 12 equal parts. Divide into 12 equal parts. Get the radius of the circle. Okay. Alright. Then we play in here. Okay. Now, having done this, we we'll then number it. So we can start from numbering to or zero. Okay. Now, the lift was given as 45 millimeter. Okay. So we'll draw 45, and then we'll divide it into six core parts, like how we did it. So to do so, we just simply collect our measurements from the displacement diagram. So we'll collect the measurements from here, since it's a straight line, okay, from this part. Then we'll try and transfer it over here. Okay. Okay, because it's going up, the cam profile is going up and coming down. Because if you can check, um, the specimen diagram tells us how 
the motion of this cam will move, okay? Now what are we doing next? And you pin at the center point. Yeah, the center point. Elongate to point one. And get to one, okay. And then draw an arc to stop at line one. Go to line two, elongate from line two. Stop at. Okay. So from three to. Stop at three. And I'm taking this to six. What's about four? Okay, and then I just six. Now, you also come again from here. Eleven to stop at eleven. Ten to stop at ten. Nine to nine. It's eight. Seven to seven. All right. Now, haven't done this. Will then join this point. I have a point here. I have a point here. Point here. Point here. And then to so this. Okay. Now with a nice French curve, I will join all these points. Okay. So with a nice French curve, I joined the points. I had this beautiful. Oh my gosh. So this guys is our cam profile. I decided to maybe give it a little fancy here. A little fancy here. This is it guys. This is our cam profile diagram. Thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel like this video and ask questions on the comment section and tell me what video you would like me to upload next i'll see you in the next episode